it's a um, lot of history. And um, it's very important, I think, to keep writing new songs and doing new tunes and experimenting with stuff. It's crucial, very important, too, to pay respects to the musicians that paved the way uh, from previous generations. Now, uh, me and Nella long enough, have been around long enough to uh, have known and been friends with some of these cats personally. Talking about Red Tyler and Johnny Adams, Earl Palmer. Uh, I could go on. I could go on. Chuck Carble, Walter Washington, Art Neville, and uh, Stardust. Yeah. Snooks Eden. Oh, thank you. And one cat in particular I was always really fond of. I was lucky enough to to play in his band and uh, actually the very first night that I arrived on an aeroplane from London in America went straight to the Maple Leaf Bar in New Orleans. <laughs> uh, sat down at the bar and was given my first Dixie beer and looked to the walls of the stage and Earl King walked on the stage. I couldn't believe my luck and he played my favorite tune and I was lucky enough to get to play this song with him. Uh, a few years later when I was in his band, but I always loved this tune. So we're going to give you a little taste of the way they used to play it. I uh, learned it first hand from one of the masters. He wrote this tune. We're going to play this little thing here. Is everybody ready? Yeah. The old school New Orleans rhythm of blues. I'm going to send this one out to Paul Siegel. If you 